Visitor. Restless was last night's sleep. My body tells me it is also aware of this by cracking and creaking as I stretch and scratch by the window this morning. After only minutes of opening the window, a pigeon has landed on the sill. It's a dirty grey with dirtier white spots covering. The bird coos and nods its head. Amazing, I find myself murmuring, frozen still in awe of this marvel. Slowly sneaking gently, I move towards one side of the window and begin to slide it down calmly. It drops much easier now that it is clean. The pigeon seems to have no fear, as if it were aware of my devious plan and wants to help in the process. It takes a step towards me, leaving room for me to quickly jam the window behind the bird. Slam! Up and away, shutting the window has given flight to the bird, swooping at me and the furniture, flying in circles, panicking within its confines. I have a friend for the day, one that will need food and entertaining. My guest. My pleasure. I shut the door to my room. My new friend will just have to enjoy its comforts until I return, which won't be long anyhow. I will be running as fast as my legs will carry me. I do not wish to leave my new friend waiting. Bread first, then milk. How are you today? Fine. Three dollars twenty-five swims out of her mouth as if she were the god of the heavens I so dearly dream of. Have a lovely day, and I am off. My new friend will need a new name, and by the time I have run home, I have settled with Daniel. The bedroom is covered with feathers. Daniel has shit on my pillow. He breaks straight for the door and begins havoc in the living room. As soon as I begin breaking bread up and sprinkle it about the room, he begins to rest, packing away about the floor. Daniel and I have a lot in common. He also enjoys bread. Rah! I jump at him, yelling. We're just playing. I chase him about the room. Suddenly he has changed his direction. He is coming right for me. Crack! He has pecked me right in the middle of the forehead. Shock has sent me hurtling backwards. The back of my skull takes most of the weight into the floor. Daniel makes his way around for a second swoop. I am now his primary target. Lying wounded on the floor, I am, I am a hopeless enemy. Squirt, splat. The shit is warm. The majority of it splashes onto my chin, but tiny specks have showered my lips, and I am afraid to move. I am sorry, Daniel.